So in this episode, we're going to cover components. So let's go ahead and create our first component. So let's go, go view dot component component and let's create a span component. And in here we want to sort of uh, uh, specify the same object we specify here, except some of the attributes are going to be different. So first of all, let's do something simple. Let's specify a template. Not team play, but template. And in here, let's say span hello world. And let's render this component here. Okay, let's refresh this. And here we can see hello world displaying. Now the main goal here is I'm going to put this inside of the component here so uh, we don't get this, uh, we can, so we can reuse this code. So the main purpose of components is code reusability and uh, sort of uh, a single responsibility principle. So one component should be responsible for one thing or should be rather templated as one object. So before we get into uh, doing that, I just want to clarify in case some of you are wondering, so we have this view thing and uh, we are calling dot component. How is it available to this app right here since we're not instantiating here anymore? So this view object right here comes from this view library and it's sort of your global view instance. And when you call dot new view, you grab from this view instance. So remember in the first episode where we declared a second app, if we would have registered the component here, it would be available both for this app and for the app that we, for the second app that we registered. So let's go ahead, grab all of this stuff, and let's put it in here. Let's format it a little bit, put everything on one line. Let's replace the single quotes surrounding this with double quotes. And for every double quote that we have in our HTML, for our HTML attributes, let's put a backslash before them. So we're basically going to say, all right, this is, we want to keep this as text here. Okay. So now that compiles successfully. Good. So here for this scope, we have the item and the index, but now that we are creating a span component. So I just want to, let's, let's just run this and see what happens. So we get a bunch of errors here and, uh, Basically, the main thing it says property or method item is not defined on the instance. So what it's saying basically is this uh, component here doesn't know what this item is. And even though it's inside the scope of this for loop, it doesn't know what this item is. So uh, basically, all you need to know is components have their own scope and they can only grab data from within this component. And if you want to pass in data, you have to pass it through props. So Let's create a prop attribute and let's give the two props that we're passing. So item and index. Okay. And if you remember again to the first episode where I sort of, or rather the second one where I describe how we bind is sort of like a pipe into the object or an HTML element and an event is something being emitted from. This is the same thing we want to do. So if you want to give something to a component, you have to bind it. So in this case, we bind and the name is item and index. So we want to bind an item. Oh, item and we bind index, index. Okay. And I actually need this comma here. Let's refresh this. Okay, and actually I misspelled not prop, but rather props, since there are multiple props. So let's refresh this, and here you can see that we are passing our props uh, to our component, and uh, whoop de doo we get the same list. So let's say we want to click on an item, and we want to display what index they have. So I know this is going to get messy, but bear with me. Let's actually... Before we specify the template, let's create methods. So um, components can have their own methods. And let's just say shout. So we want to shout something out. 
and uh, let's pass a value here and let's just do this so this is referencing this view component and we want to call emit so we want to emit an event all right and what em event are we emitting we are going to emit event shout and we're going to pass the value and rather let's uh, wrap this in an object and the value that we're passing will be value so we're going to be passing an object value b okay and let's say v on so when we click on the component let's exit these ones and let's shout and what we want to shout is we want to shout out our index okay so when we click on this we want to shout out our index and i would actually like to log this index all right so let's do v on and the event that we're emitting so we're creating a custom event shout so this is not a javascript event this is something that we created ourselves ourselves and let's call log and let's try to run this okay let's try to click on one event and again uh, you want to learn english before you do this so methods so let's refresh and let's click again and here we can see undefined so what is this undefined uh, we're shouting out a value but we're not passing anything and the way we want to pass a value to the log so again sorry so let's take a step back and let's uh, step through so we register a click event so when we click on it we call the shout method and we pass an index to it so here we have the shout and we pass the value so this is our index and then we emit an event called shout and we bind the uh, we are going to emit an object which has an attribute of value to which we're going to bind our index okay and so this event is getting emitted and we're pass and we're what's it called getting uh, calling log and inside log, we have this value that should be an object. But you can see here where we're calling it, we're not actually passing anything to the method. So let's do that. So there are primary, primarily two ways you can do that. You, what you can do is you can put dollar sign $event. Let's refresh this and let's click. So value 0, 1, 2, 3. So you see, depending on which uh, we click on, uh, we get the appropriate logging. Or you can make it, you can basically go automatic and let's remove this uh, call here. So we remove the curly brackets to call the method and uh, we're going to basically assume it's going to assign uh, this index automatically. And if we click, you can see it's still binding it correctly. And just as a bonus, I want to show you how you can sort of uh, put some hipster code to extract uh, attributes from objects so and badosh right so we extract the value from a v instead of calling v dot value okay so this will be it for components uh, one thing i want to point out is if you can see this template imagine how big would you, uh, you could make your components this template would get pretty clunky clunky and unmaintainable and this is the first sort of real bottleneck with components that view just using a regular view library in your html you, you, that you will basically face so this is a big bottleneck and i'll show you how we can solve that using webpack and uh, still not opt-in for spa so if you still want to have separate pages but you'd like to use uh, actual html i'm going to show you how to do that with npm uh, uh, not package manager and webpack so stay tuned anyway thanks for watching i know this might can be quite confusing because we uh, have quite a few moving parts so uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments and don't forget to like subscribe if you're enjoying this series see you in the next episode